Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. I'm Stephanie with Jambalaya Resell. I'm a full-time school librarian and a part-time reseller on platforms such as eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Etsy, Kitizen, and Facebook Marketplace. Today, I've got a What Sold video for you, and I'm going to be showing you all of the items that sold for me last week, which was the week of December the 5th through December the 11th, 2021. I have no makeup on today, and I do have this cute hat on, though. Kind of sweet, kind of savage. I picked this up in Canton when I went with my mom. Was it last Saturday? Time is just really weird to me right now. I think it was last Saturday. And I super love this hat. Um, I'm also really into animal print right now. But, yeah, I have no makeup on. My hair's a mess. I'm tired. We leave for Disney in three days and I don't have my life together. Um, my house is mostly clean though thanks to my husband but I just <laughs> my son from the other room said in me. Um, yes he helped clean up yesterday. I'm just really tired and I know I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately. I just really haven't felt very well lately. I don't know if I've really talked to y'all before about my migraines. I suffer from headaches and it's like I've had a headache every single day this last week. So anyway, trying to get my life together. Super excited to be going to Disney and I'm gonna get this video up and posted for y'all so y'all can see what's sold. So let's go ahead and look at it. All right guys, so our first sale and my only eBay sale of the entire week was this vintage whack-a-mole game. Um, it's super fun. It's just like the arcade whack-a-mole except it's like a mat and it's got like the little moles and it comes with two mallets and you can hit it or whatever. So I got this on Black Friday when I went to local Goodwills. Everything was half off. I paid a dollar for this game. It sold for me for it sold for me for $44.95 with shipping and I made $31.36 from this game. I had one Etsy sale and it was this vintage Presto pressure cooker. Now I sold some pressure cookers similar to this during lockdown um, and sold more quickly and sold local pickup. This one I've had for a while, so I don't think I would recommend picking up this particular item. I did get it for only a dollar. It did have, let me show you the picture. So like these old Presto cookers, I'm sorry, I can't find my mouse. There we go. These old pressure cookers have like this rubber gasket and in the old ones, they get rotted out a lot. Now you can replace that, um, but if you purchase one to resell, you need to make sure that you disclose that. And the rotted out gasket will prevent the lid from closing correctly because these handles should be lined up. Anyway, I paid a dollar for this. It did sell for $35, but with free shipping. So I did profit $12.28 on it. It just sat for a while. I had four Facebook Marketplace sales. Now, I wouldn't necessarily pick up this vintage. I guess it's vintage. I don't I don't know why I said vintage, but it's Tender Times is the name of the brand, and it's just like a little ceramic basset hound. Um, I was at a garage sale, and they had a box of free items. It was mostly small toys. They told me I could just take the entire box of small toys. Toys. So I had nothing into this Basset Hound. Um, he sold for $4 plus shipping and I made $3.60 of pure profit. You can't beat free cost of goods. Next was this Fisher Price sleep projector. My son had something similar to this when he was a little baby. This came in a um, We Bargains box. I no longer purchase We Bargains um, and this sat for quite a while, but it did sell for $23 and gave me $21.74. I don't think even with that, and I really, I bought that Wee Bargains box so long ago that I stopped keeping track, but I really don't think I made my money back from that. I like to pick up Thai Beanie Boos when I can get them cheap enough. I like to light them up if they're not worth enough just standing on their own. So I lotted these up. As you see, they are a ocean type theme. This lot sold for $10. I had roughly a dollar into the lot and it gave me $8.14 profit. 
This Thomas rug belonged to my son. Um, I think we bought it at Ollie's Bargain Outlet. Do y'all have those where you are? Um, I don't know if that's a nationwide chain. I know it's a big chain, but I don't know if it's like the whole country or whatever. So let me know if y'all have one. But um, yeah, at Ollie's, I found this rug. I might be lying to y'all. I might have got this at Sam's Club. I don't know. Either way, I didn't pay much for it. And it came with a tiny little train. And when my son was a toddler, he would play on this mat. And then he just doesn't have any use for it really anymore. He's not really into trains. Um, which is sad because when he was a toddler, he used to always carry a little toy train in his hand. And it was so sweet. Anyway, I put this up on Facebook Marketplace thinking it would be a local pickup. It was not. I shipped it, but it wasn't that big and it was fairly easy to ship actually. So it sold for $10 plus shipping and it gave me $7.57. Two Mercari sales, both Christmas themed. First is this vintage Randy um, Hallmark guy. Um, you've seen these reindeer before. They were a thing. Um, I've even sold the ones that Burger King gave out, but I don't think that's what this one was. This I picked up at um, oh, I picked this up at Canton last spring for a dollar and it sold for $18 and gave me $9.58 profit. Mr. Christmas is a great brand to be on the lookout for. So this is a Mr. Christmas Santa tree topper and Santa, he moves and he, he moves the lantern and I think his head moves and he looks around. My grandma has one of these. Hers might be a Santa Mickey. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but um, the problem with this was the lantern he's holding is supposed to light up as well, but it has a bulb broken off in there so it doesn't work and you can't change it out unless you know how to get the broken bulb out. So I just disclosed that um, even with the fall, it sold for $58 plus shipping. I paid $5 at Goodwill for this and it brought in $45.22 profit. Next is this vintage Kennington red flannel shirt. This came from the Goodwill outlet. I paid $1 for it. It sold for $20 and gave me $15 profit. This is what the Kennington label looks like. It's a really neat looking label but I really don't know much about the brand. This Grinch shirt was mine and I wore it to Universal Studios before I even had a child a very long time ago in what seems like another life. Um, and I think I bought the shirt either at Target or Walmart, so I didn't have much into it to start with. It sold for $8 and gave me $5.05. This Arctix overall I want to say set, but or overall is a set. Anyway, this came in a men's thread up rescue box and sold for $30, giving me $24. These Adidas came in a kid's shoe box from thread up, one of their rescue boxes. They sold for $10 and gave me $7.05. This structure sweater also came in a men's thread up rescue box. I used the key term Y2K. I also threw Dawson's Creek into there because it really seemed like something James Vanderbeek would have worn on Dawson's Creek back in the day. Y2K is very big right now. Sold for my full asking price of $25 and gave me $20 profit. I do not know this brand Du Pardu. It just felt like a nice kids brand. The tag looked nice. Let me see if I can show you. The tag looked nice and the sweater felt nice. So I went ahead and paid $3 at Goodwill for this. And I feel like that was a little bit overpaying, even though, you know, I will take small profit if it's a fast flip. And this definitely was a fast flip. So this sold for $10. Like I said, I paid $3 for it. I made $4.05. I picked up these North Face shorts at Goodwill on Black Friday when everything was half off. So I think I paid around $2.50 for these. They sold for $25 and gave me $17.50 profit. This is a Hermione Granger sweater. Um, it is the brand Charades. 
and I got this at Goodwill. I paid $3 for this. It sold for $12 and gave me $6.05 profit. I don't know this brand. I don't know. I'm assuming you pronounce it minimal. M-N-M-L. This came in a men's thread up rescue box. When my husband and I unboxed this, which we've made the unboxing videos and I just have not edited them and uploaded them for you. So almost all of the things are going to be sold by the time I finally get around to posting those videos, most likely. Um, but when we unboxed these, we thought that they were snow pants. And then when I looked them up, I saw that they're like urban streetwear. Um, but honestly, I would not wear these. They feel horrible to me. Like they're these nylon pants and they feel very heavy. But I guess like if you're trendy, then you like them. But they sold for $25 and they gave me a $20 profit. This Perry Ellis jacket also came in a men's thread up rescue box. It sold for $17. I don't super love blazers, but some of them sell. They just don't usually sell for all that much. Anyway, this did sell for $17 and gave me $13.60. These Gap jeans are for little babies. They came in a Facebook marketplace lot of clothing I picked up. I believe they were left over from someone's garage sale and I just paid like $50 and got a bunch of trash bags of the stuff that didn't sell. So really, I've already made my money back on, the, on that entire lot. So this is all profit. They sold for $8 and gave me $5.05. Nat Nast is a brand I've talked to you about before. It's a great bolo brand. Um, they're bowling style shirts. The um, They're worn on two and a half men. They're just, I don't know, they have a great following. Mostly though, they have like designs on them like diamonds and they, you know, just stand out. This was just red. Um, it was textured, which was nice. But Nat Nast usually has like distinct patterns. So um, this didn't sell for as much as a pattern Nat Nast would sell for, but it still sold for $25. I paid $4.50 for this at Goodwill. I made $15.50 profit. Nat Nast will even sell with flaws. Like I have sold Nat Nast shirts with burn holes in them and they still sell. And my last sale was this green envelope um, button front tie bottom shirt. I got this at Goodwill Outlet. I wouldn't pay up for this, but the style was on trend and I felt like it's something that Uptown Cheapskate would have purchased from me. Um, I also thought my mom might like the item. So anyway, this sold for $8. I had a dollar into it and I made $4.05. All right, so last week was not my best week in sales, but it also wasn't super awful. Um, I had a total of 21 sales, and um, my net profit, when I say net, I mean after cost of goods, after platform fees, after shipping, if I offered free shipping, basically what I can transfer into my bank account, I made a net profit of just over $296. I like to make a net profit of $350, so I fell short by about a day's worth of work. Um, I'm really not mad about it, though. Like I said, I didn't really feel very well last week, and so not having to ship out so many items wasn't actually a problem for me. I was actually kind of glad I didn't have as much work to do last week. So, you know. It is what it is. I'm not expecting December to be just a great sales month for me anyway, because like I said, we're about to go up to Disney. We're going to be in Disney for seven days and my store is going to be not, I won't put eBay on vacation mode. I will put eBay on um, a longer handling time, but Poshmark, Facebook, everything else will be on vacation mode. So I probably won't be making sales. Also, if you are a reseller who does a lot with with clothing, it's fourth quarter isn't necessarily faster. Fourth quarter is great for resellers who sell a lot of new items, a lot of novelty things, things that people would want to give for gifts. But January, I have found, is very good for clothing resellers. I think people get cash for Christmas and then they go on Poshmark or wherever and they buy themselves the items that they 
um, didn't get for Christmas that they want and they try to do it more cheaply so they can buy more things. That's just my theory for whatever it's worth. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up down below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell located next to it, which will notify you every time I post a new video. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!